morning everyone it is thursday morning uh, may 30th and i wanted to hop on real quick and give you an update um, about what this coming tuesday the council meeting <clears throat> could involve about <clears throat> moving forward with the swift grant the swift grant award letter that i received as well as april bird um, a year ago now it's been a year but um, last week not this past Tuesday, but Tuesday before when we all met and it was the council rodeo, but a lot of good things came out of it. Um, I think all the council people now are up to speed on what all has been going on. I think they, everybody may have learned a lesson that a year has gone by that uh, more could have been done if everybody had been in on the loop and, um, but now everybody is, so hopefully we can learn from that and move forward as a community and uh, not only get our houses raised, hopefully in the future, but get other families' houses raised because we all know that Bay St. Louis, all of Hancock County, <clears throat> along the Gulf Coast and Harrison, we're at great risk during hurricane season. Um, this hurricane season looks like it's shaping up possibly to be a Lulu. So I'm praying we don't flood again, but if we do, God's going to get us through this and it will just be another big case in point where this should have been addressed a long time ago. And uh, maybe we could learn that in the future if we work as a team and not on opposite sides of a team, that things can go a lot quicker for uh, families around here and, and the community can be uh, in a safer place because of that. So anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to give you a little update. Um, one of the council men reached out to me and has been dialoguing with me. So this is where we're at right now. I'm just gonna read it. Um, so let's see here. So one of the council men reached out to me and sir said, I heard from Mike Rizzo, and that's the, the clerk for the mayor's office early about having a call from a grant administrator they used in Diamond Head. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see the outcome of that. He said, I'm on it, trust me. And I do trust this person. Um, he's, he's proven very much worth his salt. And anything I can do to support him in any office going forward, I will do. So I said, thank you so much. I have just had to be on a high alert for two years to keep this going. I'm trying to let my spirit and shoulders relax a bit. This is for me. <clears throat> I just don't want an insider to be the grant administrator. I feel we need someone that is objective and not be bent or swayed by any office of Bay St. Louis. So, um, okay. I said, I do know that the one of the companies that I've heard of has done this more times than they can count. So hopefully we'll find a company that has that same kind of experience. And this person said, yes, ma'am, I understand. I will give them a chance to give us some good news. We all love good news, right? And I'm working the process. Then he said, <clears throat> the city has met with a grant administrator who works in Louisiana and I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's a different one from the diamond head uh, because of how he uh, introduced a new text. The city has met with the grant administrator who works in Louisiana. And that's good because they've been through a lot of these in Louisiana. I was told we have to follow federal guidelines, which requires the city to advertise a RFQ for grant administrative services. Once that is done, a grant administrator will be chosen to help with that process. I have asked what the timing will be on completing the RFQ so it can be advertised. I'm still pushing the ball, but it is moving. So now, Although we could have done it this whole past year, but that's water under the bridge, no pun intended with the flood, right? Or water over our house. Um, 
I wish this would have been done this past year, but the legislation, and I'll go back to this, the legislation that Representative Tim Ladner pushed through and got through and had signed by the governor of Mississippi is what has pushed it to this point. I think without these YouTubes bringing information to the public and y'all have been amazing supporting this and, and the audience is growing and growing. Every time I look, I say 500 views. I think, is there 500 people out there that wanna know about this? But apparently there is, because this is a real issue in our area. And I think this is bringing people information and hope. I, I sure hope it is. Um, so anyway, Tim Ladner, he's the one that pushed that legislation through. And without it, I don't think Bay St. Louis would have had the comfort zone to move forward because this cites them specifically and cites our project specifically and uh, maybe gives them a little breathing room. And then when we get a grant administrator, I think they'll have even more breathing room. So like I said, hindsight's 2020. We should have done this starting a year ago and getting this process going, um, but here we are. And uh, I think we'll keep it moving forward. And if we get that grant administrator, guess what? When other people have to sign up for this, they won't have to go through what we went through. It'll, that, that road will be paved and uh, there'll be uh, opportunity for you to raise your house and get it out of harm's way for you and your family. Um, it'll increase property values for you and the city. It will keep your family out of harm's way. It will keep your environment healthy. So that's what I'm really, really praying for. So I would encourage anybody and everybody out there uh, this coming Tuesday, June 4th at 5.30 um, at the Bay St. Louis Conference Center. Um, I don't, it's like, 568, 528, but you can look it up or I'll put it in the description, the actual physical address. It starts at 530. I, I highly, highly recommend if you are needing your house raised and you have had uh, national flood insurance protection, I, I really highly recommend you come because this has your name all over it going forward. <clears throat> so you can get your house raised, hopefully. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm a full-time artist. Uh, my gallery is actually on the first floor of Century Hall in Bay St. Louis, the Tammy Curtis Gallery. But most of my paintings, especially my originals, if you look on the back, you will see a scripture address that says Jeremiah 2911. And for 20 years, being a full-time artist, I have put that scripture address on the back of my work because I believe in it. And it says, uh, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. So I'm counting on that because God is a truthful God. God is a loving God. God is a caring God. God is a righteous God. And he, he's a just God. And sooner or later, his plan unfolds no matter who is for it or against it. So, um, I'm grateful for that. He is my source. He's the one that keeps me going through all this. And um, I just, I pray that for all of y'all. You know, we need him. We all need him, no matter where we're at in our lives, right? We all need him. He's a good, good God. So anyway, I will leave my contact information in the description. I will also leave um, the address and time for the upcoming council meeting. And like I said, you need to be you need to be your own advocate. You need to understand that. I, I was my own advocate. I took direction from uh, research and also from God's promptings, but I, I was my own advocate to get this award letter. You need to be your own advocate. If you need your house raised, you need to be there Tuesday night, um, if, if at all possible, you need to, need to be there, I need to show up, I need to speak, I need to ask questions. So I think we're all on the same page now. I don't think this ship is not turning back, going the wrong way anymore. And um, I'm just rejoicing and looking forward to when I can plan my house raising party and invite everybody. So y'all have a great day and hopefully I'll see you Tuesday night. Bye.